Imagine a world where humans weren't the only ones calling Earth home. A world where our closest kin, the Neanderthals, roamed icy plains, battled megafauna, and carried DNA that still lives in us today. They weren't just our cousins. They were superhuman in ways that'll blow your mind. Hi, I'm Dr. Lena Voss, and today we're diving into the Neanderthal code. Using cutting-edge tech, we'll virtually step into their world, uncover their insane biology, and ask, what can they teach us about survival strength and even ourselves? Stick around because this journey will change how you see humanity. Let's go back 100,000 years and meet the toughest humans who ever lived. Neanderthals lived from about 400,000 to 40,000 years ago, thriving in a frozen world called the Chibanian stage. Think sub-zero temperatures, massive predators like cave bears and prey like woolly mammoths. These weren't your average humans. They were built to survive the impossible. Unlike the original content's brief timeline, mention let's frame Neanderthals as resilience pioneers. Their era wasn't just cold, it was a brutal survival gauntlet that shaped their biology. I've studied their fossils for years, and trust me, their adaptations are like something out of a superhero comic. Neanderthals were shorter than us, about 5'5 on average, but don't let that fool you. They were stocky, weighing up to 183 pounds for males with bones twice as dense as ours. Why their world demanded raw power. Their robust skeletons think bulky shoulders, femurs, and kneecaps made them walking tanks. They hunted up close with spears, taking down rhinos and elephants. That's not just strength, that's fearless grit. The original video mentions their weight and hunting, but doesn't dive into the psychological toll. Imagine the courage it took to face a 10-ton mammoth with just a spear. Neanderthals weren't just physically tough, they were mentally unbreakable, a trait we could learn from in our cushy modern lives. Let's talk strength. Neanderthal men could bench press 500 pounds without training, women around 350 pounds. For context, that's elite powerlifter territory today. Their fast twitch muscle fibers gave them explosive power for short bursts, perfect for ambushing prey. The original content nails their strength, but skips the cultural angle. Neanderthal strength wasn't just biological, it was a lifestyle. Every day was a CrossFit session from hell. Their kids probably lifted logs before breakfast. Their durability was unreal. Studies show 79 to 94% of Neanderthal skeletons had healed trauma fractures, even amputations. One guy lost an arm, was blinded in one eye, and went deaf, yet lived to old age. That's not just surviving, that's thriving against all odds. Let me tell you about Old Iron, a Neanderthal fossil I studied in Germany. His skeleton showed a crushed clavicle and bite marks from a wolf. Yet his bones healed, suggesting his tribe cared for him. This wasn't just physical toughness, it was community strength. Compare that to today, where we often isolate the injured. Neanderthals remind us that survival is a team sport. Their thickened skin and large joints help too. They could take hits that would floor us. But it wasn't all rosy, 74% of fossils show animal attack scars, mostly from defending prey, not being prey. These guys were the predators. The original mentions animal encounters, but doesn't emphasize the reversal of roles. Neanderthals flipped the script on nature. They weren't victims, they were apex hunters, a mindset that challenges our modern fear of risk. Neanderthals were beasts on the outside, but their insides were just as wild. Their lungs held 20, 40% more air than ours. One guy, Kabara too, could hold nine liters more than any athlete today. Their wide noses moved air twice as fast, fueling a metabolism that burned four, 500, six, 700 calories daily. The original content's calorie stat is staggering, but let's put it in perspective. That's like eating 12 Big Macs a day. Neanderthals were hyper carnivores with 70% of their diet from meat. Their bodies were furnaces built for cold and combat. They weren't marathon runners, Long toes and short legs made them sprinters built for quick chases. Their fast twitch fibers confirm it, they were all about power, not stamina. I once met a sprinter, Maria, who trained in Siberia's freezing winters. She said short, intense bursts kept her warm and sharp, much like Neanderthals. Maria's story shows how their biology still echoes in athletes today, pushing us to tap into our primal energy. 
Their brains were 30% bigger than ours, around 1,640 cubic centimeters for men. They coordinated hunts, made art, and cared for the sick. But their brains prioritized senses like smell and sight, with eyes 15% larger for better night vision. The original hints at intelligence but downplays it. Neanderthals weren't just smart, they were emotionally complex. Artifacts like engraved bones suggest they grieved, loved, and dreamed. In our tech-driven world, their emotional depth is a reminder to stay connected to our humanity. Neanderthals had faces built for survival. Their big noses warmed cold air, and their jaws were like vice grips. Some researchers think they use their teeth as a third hand gripping hides or tools. Where patterns on their front teeth back this up. The original's third hand idea is wild, but let's expand it. This multitasking shows insane adaptability. Imagine using your mouth as a tool while your hands craft a spear that's next level resourcefulness we rarely see today. Their bite force wasn't much stronger than ours around 700 Newtons, but their sturdy teeth handled abrasive diets, mostly meat, they were the ultimate carnivores chowing down on mammoths like we hit a drive through Meet Tom, a butcher I interviewed in Montana. He processes elk with his hands and teeth, much like Neanderthals might have. Tom's respect for every part of the animal mirrors Neanderthal efficiency, a lesson in sustainability we've lost in mass production. Their big heads needed thick necks to hold them up. Those elongated skulls and huge eyes gave them a distinct look, alien yet familiar. They were us, but tougher forged by a world we can barely imagine. The original skips the emotional impact of their appearance. Seeing a Neanderthal's face would be like meeting a long lost sibling, different yet deeply human. Their resilience challenges us to embrace our own struggles as part of our story. Neanderthals left DNA in most of us subtle traces that might affect our looks or metabolism. But their real legacy isn't genetic, it's their story of survival. They faced a brutal world with strength, community, and ingenuity. The original's DNA section is vague, so let's clarify. Studies show Neanderthal DNA influences skin tone or immune responses, but its impact is small. Their true gift is inspiration proof that humans can overcome anything with grit and teamwork. They weren't superhuman because of biology alone. Their tribes cared for the wounded, shared food, and created art. That's the Neanderthal code strength through unity. Today, protecting our planet's biodiversity is one of the most urgent challenges we face. The rapid decline in wildlife and plant species caused by deforestation, overexploitation, pollution, and climate change is pushing many species toward extinction and disrupting ecosystems worldwide. This loss doesn't just impact nature, it directly threatens human survival health and food security. We can all take meaningful steps to help. Reducing plastic use, conserving forests, saving energy and water, and choosing eco-friendly products are simple but powerful actions. Supporting conservation programs, planting trees and raising awareness about the importance of biodiversity are also vital. Protecting living organisms means protecting our own future. Let's stand together for a greener, healthier, and more sustainable planet.